Dear Gemini Proposer, this is André Nicolas Chenet talking to you from Gemini Observatory. This video covers the way to prepare the target list and the observation. This is done under this window that contains the observations section and also the targets section that you can get to using this tab underneath. You may see the band 3 tab here, which gives access to a section that will be covered in a separate video. We will start with the target section where you can enter your targets one by one if you want using the green plus sign here. That sign uh, brings up a window into which you can enter the name of your target, its coordinates, for promotions if it has any, and magnitudes. However, if it turns out to be a known target, you can uh, fetch the information from catalogs to pick the catalogs you want. You have a choice of three here. We have for now Sinbad and Horizon chosen. For sidereal targets, it would be Sinbad. And we click on Lookup. Doing so brings up all you need automatically, including magnitudes. When you click OK, the target is now added to your target list. To go even faster, you can type the name of your target in that little box here and type Enter, bringing the target automatically. For non sidereal targets, you can click again on the green plus sign, and instead of sidereal, you click on non sidereal. And you type the name of your target, in this case, Jupiter, and look up to look into Horizon. This brings a menu where you can pick from Jupiter and Jupiter Barycenter. Please don't mind this random target that happens from time to time. In this case, we will select Jupiter. This brings all the coordinates with dates, and you can click OK to add Jupiter to your list. If your non sidereal target is not in Horizon, you have to enter the ephemeris manually, but you don't have to enter everything in detail. Click on the green plus sign here and enter the date of the start of the semester, in this case, the 1st of February, 2018. Enter the, tar the coordinate for that date and the magnitude, and enter another one for the end of the semester, which is uh, the 1st of August, technically, and coordinates for then, and the magnitudes then, and click OK. That is good enough to give the TAC an idea where to expect your target along the semester. And we click OK. Some might prefer not to have to enter the targets one by one because they have hundreds of them. There is a way to import files with information for all the targets and that can be prepared separately using scripts. Um, all the details how to prepare those files uh, is um, available through a link that is below this video. I will be showing you one example using a tab separated, separated table. This file contains the name, the coordinates, the promotion, and the magnitudes in different filters for all the targets I want to add. And to include uh, those targets, I have to import the file. So I can click on File and Import Targets, or simply click on this icon, bringing this window into which I click on this icon, and I can select the file I have prepared with all the targets. I click on Next, and I can see which targets are available. And just by clicking Finish, it will include them all. We now have all the targets prepared in PIT. Now it's time to prepare the observations. So we click on the Observations tab to move back to the Observations section. We need to set the weather conditions, the instruments and its setup, and the uh, total requested time per target. These are the icons that correspond to what I just described. And for this tutorial, I will start with this icon here, which is the weather conditions. I will ask for a photometric condition, CC50, good seeing, so image quality 70, and a gray background, 80%, and no concern on water, va water vapor in this case. And click OK. When I do that, there is a cascade that shows up in the table. The weather conditions are at the top, and below we see resource, which is the instrument and the setup, the targets, and the time requested. I will 
double click on this pale gray line here that is for the instruments that brings up a window with all the available instruments for the semester and I will select let's say GMOS North without AO in spectroscopic mode long slit and 0 0.75 arc second slit the B600 rating and no filter that is the full setup for GMOS North to include the targets I can go get them from the targets we have prepared already so I will select them by going back to the target section, click on all the targets I want to include, and um, do edit, copy, go to observation, select the resource, edit, and paste. Now we have all the targets added under GMOS. For each target, there is the need to put the total time requested. So to request to, to give the time we, uh, we are proposing for, we double click on this gray line here, in this case for Jupiter, and this window pops up. There's a lot of information, but the field that is relevant for the proposer is the first one here. This is where to put the total open shutter time plus the overheads. So let's say after using the ITC to get the signal to noise I need, and including the acquisition time, the readout time, the motion of parts time, I come up with 4.2 hours total needed for Jupiter. This window will automatically add more time. Uh, the second part here is showing how much time for a 4.2 uh, observation is requested for nighttime baseline calibration. Those calibrations are spectroscopic, uh, photo, uh, photospectroscopic standards, uh, can be other type of uh, calibrations like flat fields that are uh, needed in nine, nine time, and all of that sort. So this is done automatically, so the total requested time includes everything that the proposer is asking for, plus the nighttime calibration uh, time. This turns out to be the total time requested for the proposal, but keep in mind that uh, the 4.2 hour I have prepared here is uh, what will be charged the program. Everything else in addition will be uh, basically charged to the partner. In summary, uh, focus on that first field here. This is the same as it has always been and the rest will be done automatically for you. Click OK and then your observation is ready. Of course, it will let me uh, move forward without putting time for all the targets and I will do that quickly for all the remaining targets. Now that I am done, you can see that for all the targets I have information showing up here. So we have for instance guiding here, viz for visibility and GOA for Gemini Observatory Archive. When everything is green, it means there's no problem. But as soon as it's not green, we have to pay attention to what's happening. Um, guiding is, to, is telling you if uh, there is a likelihood of having guide stars available around your target. Visibility is telling you if um, the target is visible during the semester. So if it turns red, you have to remove that target because it is not going to be observable during the semester you're proposing for. GOA is uh, telling you if there are duplicates. Duplicates are defined as the same target observed with the same setup. When it's green, once again, everything is fine. But when it's uh, another color, you better check because you might have to justify why taking new observations when uh, equivalents can be found in the archive. When you select a target, you can click on the G sign G um, icon here that will bring your browser with uh, the archive with the observations that could be duplicates so you can have a look at what has been observed already so you can better justify why you need new ones. You can request for more than one weather condition and more than one instrument. Uh, here I will uh, select another weather conditions in this case using no constraint at all. This will bring a new separate cascade and I can request for another instrument, let's say Flamingos 2 in imaging 
and I can select more than one filter. So let's say J, and I keep uh, the shift key, and I click on H and K, then finish. Then I can add uh, the targets I want to observe with uh, Flamingos 2. So let's say those three here. I can copy and paste. I will add time. So you will see uh, I have a lot of red here, mostly because those targets are for the north, not for the south. So Flamingos 2 is not a good option. So let me change Flamingos 2 for Geniers uh, or Neri because it was imaging. And once again, GHK, for instance, finish. And now it's happier. We still have uh, problems with the guide stars. Uh, we have no chance to find guide stars, but this could be because the weather conditions are too relaxed. So let's change that. Let's ask for a cloud cover that is not completely free, but constrained to 80%, so when it's cloudy. And let's go down to see what happened. Perfect, now Pit is happy. It will find guide stars. Once you're done with preparing your observations, you can move on to the next section. Let me just show you that if you go back to the target section, once you're done with your target list, you can always export your targets using this icon that will allow you to uh, save what you've done. So you can reuse it, uh, these same targets for another proposal later. I hope this video is useful to you and I invite you to uh, consult the other videos co covering the other sections.